Hello survivors, my name is Hold Baker and we are going to be taking an in-depth look at explosives and the damage that they deal to structures. We will be testing all five types of explosives that are on the wall beside me. Keep in mind that this is a vanilla server with an untouched config, so if you're playing on a server with a config that has been changed, these tests may not apply to you. First, we will be taking a look at the lowest level of explosive, makeshift grenade. This explosive can only be crafted and is only effective against flesh targets. We threw a hundred makeshift grenades at a birch wall, I will just give you guys a taste of it. After all of those grenades, when I salvaged the wall, I got the entire wall back, meaning that the birch wall took no damage. Next, we will be moving on to the military fragmentation grenade. It cannot be crafted and deals little damage to structures, however it is an effective way to dispose of flesh enemies. I would suggest survivors to save these and only use them to craft higher tier explosives, as they can only be found at military locations such as the military base on PEI. As you can see, the military fragmentation grenade is not very effective against any of these walls. The brick wall is going to need 22 grenades to be destroyed, the pine, 12 grenades, the maple, 11 grenades, and the birch still taking 10 grenades to go down. Now we take a look at metal structures. While we did see some success with the wood structures, all metal structures take at least 20 grenades in order to fall. Considering that they only take 5 metal sheets to make, this rating method is extremely expensive. On the right, you see the maple doorway get destroyed before the metal door. In a real rating scenario, you would simply walk past the door, but we're just testing the number of grenades it takes, so ignore that. With roofs, however, an interesting thing happened. While birch is still the worst, and metal the strongest, the difference in health between the pine and metal roofs left the two both being destroyed with the same number of grenades. We aren't going to show triangle roofs in this video as they have the same health as the rectangular roofs. It would just be very repetitive for the purposes of this video. Next up is the Sticky Grenade. This grenade was previously known as C4 and will stick to most surfaces when thrown. This explosive is fairly effective at destroying structures, however I would suggest holding on to them and use them to craft charges. When used against brick and wooden walls, the brick again survives much more than the others, requiring 9 of these expensive grenades. Maple and pine tie with only 5 grenades needed, and birch at only 4 grenades. In theory, these grenades could provide a precise way to destroy doors with their sticky exterior. However, it takes a whopping 10 sticky grenades to defeat a metal door that only costs 5 scrap metal to craft. Similar to the military fragmentation grenade, the sticky grenade's damage renders the difference between the pine and maple's structure health useless as it takes 6 sticky grenades for each of them. Metal survives more than double the strongest type of wood, and birch is destroyed in only 5 sticky grenades. Now we move on to charges. Charges are a placeable explosive with a major drawback that a detonator is required in order to set one off. However, in my personal opinion, these are the best explosive, needing less raw explosive material to craft than rockets, and dealing around the same damage to structures. These charges make mincemeat of walls, only requiring one charge per wall, with the exception of metal walls. Metal structures do not perform much better, charges destroying the cheap metal door in one charge and the wall and vault door in two each. All these roofs in this case survive the same number of charges as their wall counterparts do. Do not be fooled. If you come upon a house, such as this one, where four roofs meet, in order to destroy all four, it will require one extra charge. This is the case for all types of roofs, except birch. 
which will still take only one charge to destroy. This also applies to triangular roofs, however it is much more difficult to get the charge perfectly centered for all triangles, so not all six will explode. Rockets are the highest tier of explosive and deal massive damage to structure and flesh targets. However, they require a very rare rocket launcher to fire. If you are lucky enough to find a rocket launcher and are willing to spend an extra raw explosive per rocket, then the rocket launcher will provide an effective ranged rating tool. The rocket launcher will take down structures with the same number of rockets as charges do. Keep that in mind when debating to spend extra resources on crafting a rocket. I often see players who build bases out of all of the same material. The mindset is that raiders will simply attack the weakest part of the base. However, there are cases such as this one where using wooden structures will not make the base weaker. When metal walls create a corner, wooden pillars can be used. When the wooden pillar gets destroyed, a way inside the base is not created. However, I would highly suggest using metal pillars in places where metal walls do not create a corner. As people cannot enter your base, they can shoot and look inside for only one less charge. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you guys are interested in more videos of this type or have a suggestion for my next video, please leave it down below. If you guys want a spreadsheet of this data, I created a spreadsheet of my findings and put a link to it in the description box. Or you can click the little spreadsheet on the computer screen now. Have a good one.